In today's video, I decided to make a Roblox simulator game, but fully on mobile. That's right, there's this game called Studio Light on Roblox that lets players actually create their own games on mobile. I saw Ziontic do a video on this, and I thought I'd have my try at it, making a simulator game. Make sure to go ahead and watch Ziontic's video after mine, I'll leave it linked down in the description. Thanks for the inspiration. The first thing, of course, when you're making a game is the idea. I had to decide what kind of simulator am I going to make. I couldn't do something too ambitious, given that I was about to develop this whole game on mobile, but I wanted to make it fun nonetheless. I decided that it was going to be a basic simulator style map, where you'd go around collecting these orbs. As you collect more and more of these orbs, your jump power would increase, allowing you to jump higher. And now that I had the idea for the game, I got right to work, starting with the scripting. Okay, so the first thing I definitely want to script are leader stats. Those are super essential when it comes to making simulators. Hopefully that'll allow me to be able to increase the player's jump power and also have the player see the progress they're making. Look at that, let's go! Scripting officially works on mobile. I can actually make scripts. Okay, so yeah, we do have a leader stats working, uh, which means great, I can script on mobile. That means it's time to move on to spawning orbs. Okay, finally finished scripting. The, uh, the jump orbs, I think. Let's see what happens. I should, if I touch, oh. Attempt to index a nail with parent. Line 26, all right. Back to solving errors. Okay, so it turns out you can't actually have a script doing more than one thing. For whatever reason, it was only spawning the power orbs and not spawning in the player's leader stats. So I'm gonna have to create a brand new script that does the leader stats and have the other one do the power orbs. Okay, I believe I have finally fixed the issues. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and walk over to one of the power orbs and hopefully my leader stats will change from zero to one. And uh, yeah, it actually did. It's saying 14 right now because I'm, I forgot to actually destroy the power orbs once they're touched. I'll go ahead and fix that now and that should make the game run a lot more smoothly. All right, loading up into the game and this time if I touch a power orb, my jump power should only go from zero to one and the power orb should be destroyed. And uh, let's see if it works. Yep, there it's destroyed and my jump power is set to one. So as you can see, I'm really jumping really low right now, but if I collect more, I can start to jump higher and higher and higher. And the goal is to try and get as high as you can. And I'm gonna add different like little stages and things like that. Maybe you can like jump on the clouds. We'll see what I get time to finish. But uh, this is already a really cool start for making this on mobile. I then went ahead and gave the project a name just so that I could save it. And I called it Orb Jumper. Okay, checking back into the game. The next thing I need to do is start building the map because a basic base plate just really isn't gonna cut it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that now. One of the slightly annoying things with this build feature is that when you drag, you can't drag very far, so it makes it really difficult to try and scale and move parts when you're on mobile. The next thing I knew I wanted to do was add those classic simulator borders, but that's kind of hard to do without Blender. I came up with the best thing I could though, so I used parts to try and make a little border around the map. I think it turned out okay. I duplicated the border that I had made a few times and finally the map was just about done. I went ahead and played it just to make sure there was a good play test uh, going on and yeah everything seemed to be working just fine. There were some little gaps in the wall which was annoying but there was nothing I could do about it. I didn't want to go back through all those builds and try to anchor them. I believe that was the problem but I'm not fully sure. So we had a simulator style map, orbs that spawned around that map, and then we had a jump power slash jump height that could be changed whenever we picked up an orb. The game was going pretty great, all I wanted to do was make the game a little bit more fun. Maybe we could add some models in there that would uh, spice up the gameplay a little bit. Turns out this game actually has a built-in toolbox to it, so I found a good classic sword. That way all players can actually fight, and now hopefully I can add different like arenas as you get higher up. Maybe there will be like a fighting arena up in the clouds, I feel like that'd be pretty cool. And boom, just like that, I had a little area up in the clouds where you could fight, as long as you gained enough jump height. The next thing to do though was to add something to actually fight, because this game isn't multiplayer, so I hoped that I could find some sort of a, like an NPC that players could fight in. Unfortunately all I found were some zombies, so I added them up to the cloud zone hoping that once a player was able to reach a certain jump height they'd be able to jump up and go fight the zombies. I then spent some time playtesting the game, hoping to get up to the zombie level where I could actually go fight. One of the things I noticed while playtesting was that the game was like near impossible to beat unless you had a lot of time on your hands. 
That was because the orbs were not giving enough jump power. So I fixed that by making the orbs, well, give players more jump power, but also I made them spawn a lot more often inside the map. And just like that, the game was so much more playable and I was actually able to make it up to the cloud zone. And there we go, now there was an actual objective to the game. You would try and get up to the cloud level to defeat the zombies by collecting power-up orbs. So the next thing I wanted to do was the obvious next thing make more zones, maps, and other places for zombies to spawn in. Since I already had one cloud, I decided to make a whole cloud world, so that you could jump from cloud to cloud fighting more and more zombies. If you're enjoying the video so far, I'd like to really quickly ask that you would take a second out of your day to go click that subscribe button. All it takes is a couple seconds and you can always change your mind later, but if not, it really helps me, so I really appreciate those of you who did just subscribe. I'm talking to you, thank you. All right, back to the video. Alright, so I decided that this last cloud zone is actually going to be the last zone, at least for now. I may update this in the future if you guys like this video. But I decided since the, uh, this is going to be the last one, I gotta have a ton of zombies, right? We're going to make this level a boss fight level where you have to fight tons of zombies to victory. Alright, there we go. I've added a ton of zombies. Now I gotta have a prize for if they finish that. And I don't really know what else to do other than a car. A car seems like a pretty good prize to me. So there we go, if you beat all the zombies, you get a car to drive around, I guess, off the clouds? Doesn't seem like a very smart idea, but I included it anyway. And with that, it was time for one final playtest. Yeah, I just loaded in and that took a really long time to load in because of how many things are in the game. Uh, I don't know that this, uh, this game was meant to handle all these different objects, but that's okay, we're pushing this kind of to its max to see what can really be done on mobile. I'm going to go ahead and include some footage of me playing the game right here so that you can see how I beat it all the way to the end, uh, just to show you the finished product that was done fully and completely on mobile. One issue that I noticed while playtesting the game was that zombies could fall off of their clouds. Uh, there's really nothing I can do about this because I can't really do um, a whole lot of editing with these scripts. These are built into the Roblox Studio Lite, so unfortunately that's just going to be part of the game. But the good news is you can indeed fight zombies, you can collect power orbs, you can do all this stuff that will eventually lead to you being able to get up to your car and enjoy the sweet taste of victory. So there you go, if all you have is a phone and you don't have access to a PC, or you're just curious on if you can actually make a game on your phone, the answer is now yes. If you want to go ahead and try it out for yourself, I'll leave the link to the game down in the description. Just keep in mind, this very very simple game took like over an hour to make, because it just is so slow to try and type scripts on your phone. But if you're up for the challenge, you can feel free to go ahead and give it a try. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and for all the support on the channel. Huge shout out to Samuel Ramsey for supporting me on Patreon. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to go check out my Patreon page where you can have access to all the source code from my tutorials, make sure to go check it down in the description. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys.